When you're in the market for a cryptocurrency hardware cold storage wallet, there are a lot of options out there. I mean, just look at all of the images that come up on Google Images. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a very simple and affordable hardware wallet. If you've been into cryptocurrency for a while, and if you've been watching cryptocurrency content here on YouTube, no doubt you've already heard of the Tangem hardware wallet. So I'm not going to make this a real long video, but I do want to cover some key points of the Tangem hardware wallet. So first and foremost, the reason that the Tangem hardware cold storage wallet is so simple is because there's virtually nothing to it. There's no screen, there's no battery, there's no charging cable, there's no worry about is it air gapped? And yes, it is air gapped. Does it have Bluetooth? Does it have USB? And the answer to that is no. The only way you interact with the Tangem hardware wallet is through NFC, which is near field communication. And as you can see on their website, the Tangem Hardware Wallet is a card-shaped self-custodial cold wallet, which gives you full control of your private keys. Store, buy, earn, transfer, and swap more than 6,000 coins and tokens. The Tangem Hardware Wallet is EAL6 Plus Secure, which is a bit better than the average, which is EAL5 Plus. It can withstand temperatures from minus 25 to 50 degrees Celsius, and it is IP68 certified as far as resistance to dust and water. All you need to use it is an NFC enabled phone and the Tangem hardware wallet companion application installed. Tangem backs up their product with a 25 year replacement warranty. You don't have to really worry about backing up the Tangem wallet. In fact, you can't back up the Tangem wallet when you activate the Tangem wallet, the chip in the card generates a random private key, which never gets exposed. Neither Tangem nor anyone else knows it. It is therefore impossible to steal it or trick you out of your funds. Now, this is what Tangem states on their website. Bear in mind, nothing is 100% secure. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's somebody out there in the world who in fact could hack your Tangem wallet if they had their hands on it. So that's a very strong claim saying that it is impossible to steal your private keys. I wouldn't bank on that. Now that said, the way that you back up your Tangem hardware wallet is that instead of keeping track of the monomic seed phrase, you actually just use the additional cards that come with your order for backup. That is why the Tangem wallet is sold as a two or three card set. The Tangem companion application is an open source program available on GitHub. The hardware is not open sourced, but it does have an independent firmware audit. It. Again, as mentioned, you will need a mobile application, which is available for iOS and Android. When you go to use your Tangem wallet after it's been set up, the way that it works is when you need to authorize the signing of a transaction out of your wallet, you simply just bring the card close to your phone so that your phone can detect your wallet through the NFC, and you're done. As far as what assets the Tangem wallet stores, you can store over 6,000 digital assets simultaneously. With current support for 34 networks, including Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB Smart Chain, BNB Beacon Chain, Ripple, Solana, Cardano, Avalanche, Dogecoin, Polygon, Litecoin, and a whole bunch of others. Unfortunately, you can't actually make payments at point of sale with the Tangem wallet and use it like a bank card or a credit card just yet. But who knows that functionality might be available in the future, although it'll probably require purchasing a new product as there's no SD card slot, there's no USB port, there's no there's no way for a customer to load a new firmware into the Tangem wallet. And as mentioned, they sell the Tangem wallet as a pack of two or a pack of three. And this part is critical to understand. The reason that it's sold as a pack of two or a pack of three is because that is your backup. So if you order a pack of two cards, you can load your private keys onto both cards. You normally use one of the two cards. The other card is stored somewhere for safekeeping. When your primary card becomes lost, stolen, damaged, 
stops working, you go to your backup card. Once you're down to one card, it's time to go ahead and buy another set of Tangem wallet cards or just simply transfer your crypto to a completely different wallet altogether. You cannot buy two or three packs of three cards for example, and set up one wallet on all cards. When you buy a pack of two, your wallet consists of two cards. When you buy a pack of three, your wallet consists of three cards. And that is it. The beauty of this product is in its simplicity. There's no screen to worry about in terms of is it big enough? Is it clear enough? Is it durable enough? There's no battery. You don't have to worry about what the battery charge or the battery performance is because there is no battery. You don't have to worry about do you need a USB-C or a Thunderbolt or it doesn't matter because you don't plug anything into the Tangem wallet. So it's irrelevant. And the price, the price is pretty attractive. Even if a pack of three cards were at the normal price of $70, that is still pretty reasonable. When you consider that the Ledger Nano S X, a very popular crypto hardware wallet company and crypto wallet model, it costs twice that. And it's not as easy to use as this. In fact, I'm not sure that any other hardware wallet on the market currently is as easy to use as the Tangem wallet. I will more than likely be ordering a, a set of these soon because I want to have more than one cold storage. And then, of course, it's also kind of helpful to have one or two hot wallets as well, because depending on what you're doing, you don't necessarily want all of your crypto in one wallet for various reasons that we'll talk about in another video.